how many times did you beat a game only to find out you missed the secret boss? Only a true completionist has the time and patience to 100% a game and squeeze every drop of entertainment out of it. Well, we're here to help you by giving you a bunch of bosses you may have missed during your gaming adventures. Get ready for another 10 secret video game bosses you didn't know existed. Fighting games are full of secret characters and you will certainly see a few in this video. Killer Instinct is no different as you need to win every fight, get two supreme victories and one ultra victory. You also need to do all this with a character that has all their endings unlocked. Shadow Jaga will replace the final boss and you're in for one hell of a fight. Beating this guy certainly isn't easy, but it's the only way you can unlock a fourth alternate ending for your character. Just keep doing those ultra combos. The Dark Souls series is full of secrets, and it even has a couple of hidden bosses. Dark Lurker is arguably the hardest boss in the entire game, so you better come prepared. To find this guy, you need to join the Dark Pilgrim's Covenant. After that, you need to light all beacons in the Dark Chasm of old and clear all three dungeons. The boss is resistant to most forms of magic, but he's incredibly weak to fire. So keep spamming those fire attacks if you want the fight to be over quickly. Try beating him any other way and Dark Lurker will remind you that Dark Souls is still Dark Souls. I am evil incarnate. We have a lot of respect for gamers that beat Oni in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Unlocking him is an absolute nightmare. You need to win every match, get two perfect wins, and end five battles with Ultra finishers. You also need to defeat Seth with an Ultra and get 10 first strikes. It's an incredibly hard requirement list and only a few gamers are gifted enough to pull this off. After all this, you get a chance to fight Oni who is completely unbalanced. Beating this insanely powerful secret boss will certainly earn you a place in the Street Fighter Hall of Fame. Borderlands is another game series that just loves secrets and easter eggs. Borderlands the pre-sequel has a secret boss that has some incredible loot. However, this means you will need to beat a Godzilla-sized monster inside a volcano. Reaching Iwajira is pretty easy if you know where to go. Just look for a tiny ledge in Serenity's Waste that leads you into a volcano. The fight itself is not that hard if you have a few powerful weapons at your disposal. Best of all is the fact that this monster is farmable, meaning you can beat this guy as many times as you want. Leveling up has never been easier. Night Terror is a freaky looking secret boss in Soul Calibur 3. Compared with other fighting games, reaching him is actually quite easy. All you need to do is win every match in the story mode. The boss itself has beefed up attacks taken from both Nightmare and Siegfried. He also has wings, which means you can't simply knock him out of the ring either. Night Terror is the most powerful character in the Soul series, and beating him certainly is a challenge. However, if you are a true fighting game fan, you owe it to yourself to complete the game 100%.
Night Terror wins! Sonic 3 and Knuckles has a whole secret area called the Doomsday Zone. You can unlock this zone by collecting every single Chaos and Super Emerald. It's definitely worth doing as you get a chance to fight the Egg Bomber and unlock the true ending. The battle itself is so freaking badass and intense. All the Emeralds allow you to transform into Supersonic as you fly through space in an attempt to stop Eggman. The music and setting are dripping with urgency and action. This is 16-bit gaming at its finest and a defining moment in the Sonic franchise. So, you found and beat Dark Lurker in Dark Souls 2! First of all, congratulations! And second of all, we have some bad news for you. There's a second hidden boss called Aldia, Scholar of the First Sin. He was added after the release of the game and beating him will unlock an alternate ending. To get to him, you need to answer all his questions correctly at three separate locations. You also need to kill his brother Vendrick and beat the original final boss. After all that, you can finally take on Aldia. He is tough, but is not the hardest boss in the game, so you should be able to beat him. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I wonder how many times it's been that we've seen each other like this. Apparently, we met for a purpose after all. Gamers who played Persona 5 will definitely remember Igor's assistant, Margaret. But we bet you didn't know you could fight her. However, the requirements are absolutely ludicrous, so we can't blame you. To reach her, you have to play the game twice, getting the good ending both times. No way! She can use a Persona too? Who is she? You also need to beat all the optional bosses and get every Persona. Then, at a very precise opportunity in the game, you have to go in and out of the Velvet Room twice. It's an absolute nightmare and don't think the fight itself will be any easier. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Strange. I'm picking up a fallen distress beacon. We know we've been mentioning Destiny a lot in our videos lately, but please hear us out. Drivix the Chosen is a great secret boss in Bungie's online shooter. The ever so smart Destiny community discovered this boss in a daily heroic mission. In this mission, you need to find a hidden path that will lead you to Drivix the Chosen. Here, you only have 10 minutes to beat this guy and claim your reward. This reward was pretty epic as it gave players the Black Spindle Exotic Sniper. So you better get to it, Guardian. Taken will not rest. Spelunky is one of those mysterious games that keeps giving the more you play it. The game even has a secret final boss called King Gamma. It's very easy to die in Spelunky and players need to use everything in their power to survive. That makes the hidden area of hell an extremely dangerous area to be in. The game does have an awesome easter egg where you can feed the bot an eggplant which renders him useless. However, carrying the fragile eggplant for over 2 hours across multiple levels is actually way more difficult than beating the boss the normal way. What is your favorite secret boss in gaming? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Life in